guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective haul from dollar stores, specifically Dollar Tree and Dollar Rama. And the Dollar Tree um, that I went to uh, is the Canadian Dollar Tree, so I want to point that out. So I will start with Dollar Rama. The first thing I have are these hook and loop dots. So they're just basically the Velcro dots that people use for closures. Next, I found this trim and it's got some leaves and the trim itself is kind of like a lattice in a green color. And um, I'm doing a mermaid project, so I thought this would be perfect. It kind of looks like seaweed or like, you know, like a sea grass or, or something. <laughs> it looks like it's under the sea. <laughs> I found some wood shapes and they are of these leaves. I love using wood shapes on my cards and my projects in general. They're really versatile. You can paint them, you can glitter them up, you can do all kinds of things and I just love you know, the sturdiness of them because they, they are wood. So this one comes with 25 pieces. I also found them in these birdies. I thought they were so pretty and they have different styles so they have some that are in flight they have some that are sitting they have some that have like a decorative pattern on them and they're nice size too so I grabbed two of those next I found these hair clips as you can see but I will be using them for paper clips I grabbed a pack of these iridescent flower sequins. I gave some to Jolie, but I realized I didn't buy some for myself. <laughs> so I grabbed a pack for me. This is a repurchase. I just love these roses. I found this gift bag, and I'm sorry, she's right here, so it's kind of hard to get into frame. <laughs> but, um,. They have these glittery flowers and leaves, absolutely gorgeous. It also is the same on the back. Because you know how some gift bags are only glittered on the front, but this one is actually both back and front. And so I can use both sides. And I'm just going to use this for die cutting, especially for like layering for cards and things like that. I thought it was super pretty. And then finally, I found some paper pads. Um, this is by, it just says Crafts, and I'm not sure if that's the brand name, but really, really nice. There's a floral pattern, and then there is this foil. This is really pretty. And then there's another foil. So there are two sheets each. Here's one with kind of... Um, leaves and flowers. I love the polka dot. Then there's this pattern here. And I thought it'd be nice because I don't have a whole lot of purple papers. There's another foil. This floral is really pretty. And then here is another foil. Oh, one more. <laughs> oh, nope, two more. So here's another foil. That's the last. Yes. So they're single sided. Really pretty. This was only, I think, $4. I don't remember. Yeah. So it was only $4 for a paper pack. So I thought that was a really good deal. I also got it in this pattern here. This one is gorgeous. It's kind of like a minty, very pastel y kind of. Sh so there's this pink one. There's this one with the. I think they're lilies. There's this one with the foil. So as you can see, a lot of pinks and a lot of like mint greens. This would be great for mermaid projects. Here's this gorgeous floral. I think they're peonies. I love peonies. Here's some foil with hearts. There's this floral. There's kind of a more splattered kind of polka dot. 
Because this floral kind of reminds me of a Japanese kimono. <laughs> this one's really pretty. It's got floral and foil. There's this pattern here. And that's the last of that. Super, super pretty. Okay, I'll move on to the stuff I got from Dollar Tree. So, I found these wood pieces, or wood cutouts they call them. And I was looking at the shell specifically because it's a really nice size. And how great would that be to embellish? So, they also do come with a really nice size seahorse and a whale not sure that if i'll be using the whale probably not but definitely these two for mermaid project yes i really like that so they come with six pieces so two each i also found these wood shapes and they are of mermaids and there are 12 in all i found these napkins now i told myself i would not buy any more napkins but I thought this was really, really pretty. It's got blue roses. It kind of looks under the sea if you look at it. And there's this like perfect area here where you can just cover it and, you know, either put a sticker or a die cut or something to make it um, more personal. I plan on using this to make a, a bag out of for my planner and maybe something for um, Happy Mail. Because you get 14 napkins, so they'll be great for decoupage and all that. So grab that. I also grabbed these gift bags, and it's got kind of like um I don't even know what kind of color it is to be honest with you. It's kind of red. It's kind of pinky. It's foiled and it's got roses. It's so pretty. It's on the front, front and the back. And I'm just going to use this for die cutting. I found these foam beads. And look how fun they are. These are going to be for Happy Mail, just for packaging, just to make it more fun. Um, they did come in different colors, but I really like the purple. Finally, I found some new mermaid wall stickers. Uh, if you remember watching my hauls from last year, I got a bunch of the mermaid wall stickers because I absolutely love them. I even use them in my in a planner layout. This year I found these and I could not believe it because um, these girls are Karen Fila's girls. And I don't know if you guys know who Karen Fila is. I use her designs quite a bit in my projects, especially in my planners. And I know she sells commercial licenses, so maybe she sold one to Dollar Tree. I don't know, but this is definitely her art. But look how cute. So you can use this to decorate packages with. You can use them on your wall if you wanted to. Um, I'm probably going to end up scanning them and making them into smaller stickers. They're just so cute. So I grabbed all that they had. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which was three. So that was my collective haul for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and until my next video, have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.